Hey guys, today I'm going to do a DIY wedding gift. My cousin's wedding is actually today and I made this gift for around $10. And the reason I chose to do DIY is because I waited so long that when I looked on their wedding registry, there was hardly anything that I could afford to get them. So I decided to look on Pinterest and I found a couple of things that I um, thought would be nice for my cousin and his new wife. So this is what we're going to make a dry erase board that says I love you because and I'm including a marker so they can write new messages um, whenever they feel like it to, to each other and I think it's a really cute idea and then also these two coffee mugs that I made with a sharpie and baked them in the oven I also included a nice love quote on the back of both of them so I thought these were really cute too and again everything cost around ten dollars to do and it took me maybe an hour to make the coffee mugs take thirty minutes to bake and then you let them cool for thirty minutes so while I was doing that I made the frame so if you want to learn how to do this DIY wedding gift keep watching the supplies you'll need to make the, the DIY wedding gift is a frame I got mine at the Dollar Tree for a dollar two coffee mugs from Walmart, they were three dollars a piece, some scissors, a sharpie, some dry erase markers, um, I just have here a bag to put the gift in, you can get some craft flowers from Michaels, you'll need a printer, And if you don't want to buy craft flowers, you can make your own flowers out of felt and little pearls here. So these felt sheets are about 29 cents at Michael's. To make your sh Sharpie mug, you want to make sure you have a clean surface to work on. I've already cleaned my mug and decide which direction you want the design on. So know whether they're right or left handed, so that way when they drink, you'll see the design on the outside. So I'm doing mine on this side because I'm pretty sure they're right-handed. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my Sharpie. And I'm gonna do a Mr. and Mrs. Just keep it simple. And then I think on the other side, I'm gonna put um, a pretty love quote. Here I went ahead and put Mr. and I made the little period of heart because I thought it made it more cute. And on the other side, I have a quote. Love is above all the gift of oneself. So I'm going to make the Mrs. Cup and then put them in the oven for 30 minutes at 425. And here I finished the Mrs. Cup and on the other side of that I have a quote saying love and you shall be loved. So I just thought these were really cute. It took me a while to find like a short quote that I wanted to use. And by the way, these are harder to write on than you'd think. Like the, the Sharpie slips a lot, so <sighs> this, this is my first try, so I'm probably going to try to fix this M, but it's even though these are kind of flat on the side, it still is slippery to, um, to write on. So just as a side note, just so you know, it's not as easy as it looks, so don't go trying to start off with a really hard design at first. Now you put them in the oven for 30 minutes at 425. I just put them on a cookie sheet because I don't know I didn't want them to fall down and after they finish cooking for 30 minutes you're supposed to um, crack the oven open like this and let them cool because if not they can crack. While we're waiting for our mugs to bake um, we're gonna make the I love you because dry erase board. So what I did is I found a background or design um, through Google and put it in a Word document and then I wrote I love you because and I saw on Pinterest that the love was kind of in a different font so I copied so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. So this is what it looks like with the paper inside. You can leave it like this or you can decorate it. I have flowers right here that I got from Michaels for I think $1.50, but then I realized I had leftover felt. So I'm going to make little felt flowers like this. Alright, so this is how we're going to make these little flowers out of felt. I'm going to make 
make a cream flour and I'm going to try to make it smaller so I'm going to cut it whatever thickness you want that's how big your flour will be. Oh by the way you're going to need a glue gun and uh, I suggest a glue gun because it's quicker. So you're going to take your piece of felt and just like you're folding it in half this way, you're going to fold it down just like that. And then with the rest, you're going to fold it down again. So it looks like this. And then what's really simple is that you just keep twisting it. And it makes a little flower shape. And just keep folding. And I'm actually going to cut this off because I'm making a small flower. And there you go, I'm holding it together with my fingers right now, but I'm going to use the glue gun to secure it. Man, now that I know how to make these, I'm going to make them for everything. I'm going to make little headbands. I'm going to put flowers on everything. Look how cute. So there's how you make these little cute flowers. Now we have our frame with our I love you because page in it. And we have our flowers. So I'm just going to hot glue them on here. Probably like that. Cluster together. Press until it dries. Oh, look how cute! Make sure to glue all around the edges, like up under here. Um, initially, I just put a dot of hot glue, but because this frame is like has deep ridges, you have to really get all parts of the flower that touches the frame. So right now I'm just going up underneath the flower and putting dots of hot glue and pushing down to make sure it's really stuck on there. You don't want your gift falling apart when they open it. So um, yeah, just make sure you get all the edges. I hope you enjoyed this DIY and I encourage you all to try it yourself. Have fun! Bye!